Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to animate eyes in Moho 12. Alright, now as you can see I have drawn a character on screen right here, only there is one little problem with it. I can't see anything! So what we need to do is to draw eyes uh, right here and we also need to make it able to animate. Um, how are we going to do that? Um, well, before we start, uh, I would like you to know that uh, we need to, uh, we are going to use masking, uh, blend morphs, and smart bones for this. And if you don't know anything about that, um, I have uh, made tutorials about that in the past, and I will put them in the in the description below and at the end of this video. So I recommend you to watch those first and then go on with this tutorial. But if you are aware, let's get started. So. We zoom in for the character right here and we go inside the bone layer right here and we make a group layer and we double click on it and we name it eyes. Um, then um, we are going to make a vector layer and we are also going to name it eyes. Oh, Like that. <clears throat> And then we are going to put it in the group layer. Um, and then, yeah, let's just start with the eyes layer. And we choose a color, we choose uh, white. And we, yeah, this one is good. The rectangle uh, from the draw shape tool. And then we are just going to draw a big oval right here. Now this may seem very weird, but it will be clear. Um, then um, I'm going to uh, draw some other things as well. I'm going to take the eyedropper tool. And I'm going to click on the skin right here. And I'm going to zoom in a bit. And I draw a oval right here. Um, and then I'm going to copy it by clicking on Control C and then Control V. Put it right here. And then select them both by holding Shift. Control C, Control V to put them right here. There we go. Then I'm going to make a new layer and I call it mask. And I'm going to put it down below the eye layer. And we take the draw shape tool, the oval right here, and we are going to draw a oval right here. And it doesn't matter what color it is um, right now, whether it's this one or any other color. What what does matter is the skin color right here, which is good, black right now. Um, and then we copy it and paste it, so we have two circles right here. There we go, I'm going to put it like this, there we go. And finally, I forgot one thing, um, let's just put this a little bit higher. Oh. No, okay, let's keep it like that. Um, I also want to draw some black ovals right here. There we go. And then copy and paste it by clicking Ctrl C and V and put it right here. There we go. Now um, we are going to just check how it looks. And it looks good. And we double click on the group layer. We go to masking and we click on hide all. Now this happens. Um, if you are familiar with masking already, anything um, on the eyes layer is only visible if you are looking through the mask layer, which is these ovals right here. Um, we need to adjust a few things. First we double click on the mask layer and we go to masking and we click on um, exclude strokes, which means the, the strokes of the eyes uh, will be visible. Then we ne need to adjust these little things right here because the reason why I've created this is because these are going to be the eyelids. So what you need to do is to adjust it like this, like the eyelid would be. And maybe we take the curvature tool like this. And what you get is, if you can put this below, you get something that looks like an eyelid. And this is how you can make a blinking animation. 
and I already see that the pupil is in front of it so all you need to do is just copy oh, and paste it no wait delete it uh, cut and paste it by clicking ctrl X and ctrl V so it gets in front of it and I'm going to make, do that with all of them and I'm also going to adjust all these eyelids um, in the correct way there we go so now if uh, I take this one you get this and then with this one you have eyelids basically so that way we can animate the eyes a little bit better um, now um, you can of course just um, go through in the group la group layer every time and just uh, move these eyelids however you want it if you want to make a blinking animation for instance but I really recommend to use blend morphs in uh, this case and um, what we are going to do um, let's say we want to make a blinking animation uh, what we are going to do is uh, we go to actions right here or control K and on the head layer by the way um, you make a new layer or a new action I'm sorry and we call it blink and now make sure that everything you do is uh, on frame one so what you do you go to the group layer and we just move the eyelids like this like he's blinking same with this one there you go adjust them correctly Oh, I see that the pupil uh, is in front of the eyelids here, but that doesn't matter. All we need to do is just cut and paste these eyelids. So then it will, uh, then it's behind the eyelids. So now we have uh, the eyes closed on frame one. Then we go to, um, let's see. Uh, blend morphs right here and as you can see um, when you're on the head layer or any of, uh, of the other layers inside of it um, you can already see that blink appears right here so let's say we want to make a blinking animation right here if you want to start right here let's say uh, go three frames further one two three and I prefer absolute in this case um, and then you just take this button and you move it to the right so that way these eyes are going to get close and then you click on apply so now they are closed in frame 33 and if we go back to frame 30 all we need to do is click on default so it starts from here then we click apply then we go to frame 33 again then the eyes close starting from frame 30 and then of course we are going to frame 36 and then um, we do the same thing again default so if we would play we have a blinking animation finally um, uh, besides blend morphs um, you can do anything with blend morphs uh, as long as you do it on uh, frame one in the action. Anything can be done on frame uh, on uh, with blend morphs. Um, but I also want to show you a um, thing with smart bones that I really like to use because I think it's uh, very easy to do, and I also always use it for my uh, character animations. What we do? Um, make sure if uh, everything is deselect it if you have bones we don't have bones right now but that doesn't matter um, <clears throat> we draw a bone right here oh make it visible right here we click on it with the bone strength tool click on it hold your mouse and move to the left so the strength gets reduced then we go to uh, select bone tool and we go to bone constraints and we click on angle constraints 
Uh, and then of course, oh, this one, I'm sorry. No. Okay. Like this. There we go, yeah. Then you can move it like this until the angle. So, what we can do is uh, we can name this uh, bow. Uh, let's say we call it pupils. Um, no. Pupils for to call uh, because we want to animate the pupils from up to down below so we go to window and we go to actions and we make new action and we name it the same as the bone right here and it's already automatically uh, naming it that way the action is connected to this bone so then what we do is move the bone up and then we can animate these eyes so we select both the pupils hold in shift and then we move it up then go back to the main line and then um, let's go to frame one and then you can move them like this so that way um, <coughs> You can animate the pupils very easily by just moving this bone. And you can make a second one for uh, the, pupils, uh, move, the pupils moving down below. All you need to do is making another action. And it's already named automatically pupils verticals 2, which is good. So then you move it down below, go to the eyes layer, and you move the eyes. Hold and shift, select them, and then you move them down below. There we go. So then take the bone, then move like this. There we go. And basically, we can do the same thing now for uh, the eyes horizontal. Um, I'm just going to speed it up uh, because I think you understand how I'm going to speed it up and then I'll show you how it's done uh, in a minute. There we go. So now if I move this one, you see it moves horizontally and you can use them both at the same time. So you can move them up to the left or to the right and down below and I find this very helpful to put two of these bones right here because that way all I need to do is go through this timeline and let's say I want to move it to the right and then go back to move it you know and that way you can animate the eyes however you want it without going uh, getting into the eyes layer and so on um, so yeah, I re really recommend uh, you to do that, uh, to use this. Um, so anyway, you can use blend morphs, you can use smart bones, and that is basically how you can animate eyes. And it doesn't just apply for pupils, you can make the eyes bigger, make the pupils bigger or smaller, uh, make the eyes bigger, anything you want, um, you can uh, use with these met methods. So try it out, uh, please experiment with it and see uh, what works for you and what not. So anyway, that's the end of this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot about this. If you have any more questions, leave a comment below, down below, and I'll see you with the next video. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready, so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching, guys.